Before the age of digital streaming, vinyls, cassette tapes, and compact discs were the primary ways for people to listen to music outside of the radio. But did you know there was something else between the 60s and the early 80s as well? They were known as 8-track tapes, and people loved to play them on the go in their cars. But what exactly are 8-track tapes? Let's find out today on Feed My Curiosity. There's so many ways to listen to music nowadays. Digital streaming seems to be the most popular medium. Radios are definitely still around to broadcast music, and people who still love to collect physical copies have the option of purchasing compact discs. Even vinyls and cassette tapes have steadily been making a comeback, with more artists and listeners appreciating the experience of slower media that digital mediums don't provide. We all know that vinyls and cassettes were the primary ways of listening to music back then, but there was also something else that was popular before cassettes made them obsolete in the 90s. 1980s. From the 60s to the 80s, if you weren't listening to the radio or vinyls, you were likely listening to an 8-track tape. People played them in their cars and home systems until the industry felt cassette tapes were superior. That sounds cool and all, but you might be wondering, what in the world is an 8-track tape? And what contribution did it make to the music industry? This is what we'll investigate today on Feed My Curiosity. But before we dive into that, don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button as well to stay up to date with us and help us grow. Also known as an 8-track cartridge, 8-track tapes were a magnetic type sound recording technology that were popular between the 1960s and the 1980s. They were called 8-tracks because although there were actually 4 tracks, the tracks were in stereo, so there were 8 tracks in total. The 8-track format was developed by a group that consisted of Ampex Magnetic Tape Company, Learjet Company, RCA Records, and Ford. Yep, you heard that right, the Ford company that makes cars. That might sound silly that a car company got involved with the development of sound recording technology, but Ford actually played a huge role in not only developing the 8-track format, but also revolutionizing the way people listened to music. In 1965, Ford was showing off their 1966 models, which had the option of playing 8-track tapes. 65,000 players were installed in these cars. It's important to note that these were not the first audio players for cars. A decade earlier, Chrysler had developed and implemented the Highway Hi-Fi. Highway Hi-Fi. It's the last word in driving luxury which allowed drivers to play their vinyl records on the road. At first, that might sound cool, but any bump on the road caused the record to scratch. One solution was to weigh the record down, but that would wear them out. That definitely sounds annoying to deal with. So, when consumers bought their 1966 Fords with the 8-track players, they all seemed to like them. So, all of those annoyances with the vinyl players for cars were absent. The rise in popularity with 8-track players became a standard with Ford vehicles from that point on. The 8-track tape would become the first ever accepted portable medium for music. Just like every music medium out there, 8-track tapes also had their cons. Although it seemed to be durable like a knight's armor on the outside, it was cheaply made on the inside. So, playing 8-track tapes on the run was an issue. Due to the way that they were built, you also couldn't rewind them, and artists were limited to four programs. That means that songs had to be roughly the same length, and if they weren't, songs would end up being split. First, a fade-out would occur midway through the song, then a click would be heard, which meant that the next program had started and the song would fade back in. 8-track tapes would enjoy their popularity throughout the 70s. In the 1980s, cassette tapes, which were actually developed by Philips in 1962, would eventually succeed 8-track tapes. The music industry deemed cassette tapes to be superior to 8-track tapes in every way, and consumers agreed. 8-track tapes simply became obsolete, while compact discs started to make their way to the music scene. Although no one really thinks of them anymore, 8-track tapes hold their place in music history as leading the way in influencing how people listen to music. They likely won't make their revival like cassette tapes and vinyls, but we can still marvel at the piece of technology that once upon a time captured the world's attention and taught us that listening to music in cars was indeed possible. Let us know in the comments below how you mainly listen to music. And if you enjoyed our video, don't forget to tap that like and subscribe button too. Thank you for joining us. See you next time on Feed My Curiosity.